Now tell of the Battle of Hastings, as happened in days long gone by, when Duke William became King of England, and Harold got shot in the eye. It was this way one day in October, the Duke who were always a tough, having no battles on at the moment, had given the lads the day off. Now they'd all taken boats and gone fishing, when some chap in conqueror's ear said, Let's go put breeze up Saxons, said Bill Bygum, that's an idea. Then turning around to his soldiers, he lifted his big non voice, shouting, Hands up, who's coming to England? Well, that was swank, cause he hadn't a choice. Now they started away about tea time. The sea was so calm and so still, and at quarter to ten the next morning, they arrived at a place called Bexhill. Now King Harold came up as they landed, his face full of venom and hate. He said, if you've come for regatta, you've come six weeks too late. At this, William Rose cool but haughty, and said, give us none of your cheek. You best have your throne reupholstered, cause I'll be needing it next week. When Harold heard this in defiance, with rage he turned purple and blue, and shouted some rude words in Saxon, to which William answered, and you. Twere a beautiful day for a battle, the Normans set off with a will, and when both sides were duly assembled, they tossed for the top of the hill. Now King Harold, he won the advantage. On the hilltop he took up his stand. With his knaves and his cads all around him. On his horse with his hawk in his hand. Now the Normans had out in the favour. The chances of victory seemed small. For the slope of the field was against them. And the wind in their faces and all. Now the kick-off was sharp at 2.30, as soon as the whistle had went. Both sides started banging each other, till the swineherds could hear them in Kent. Now the Saxons had best line of forwards, well armed both with butler and sword. But the Normans had best combination, and by half time no one had scored. So the Duke called his cohorts together, and said, let's pretend that we're beat. Once we get the Saxons on the level, we'll cut off the means of retreat. So they ran, and the Saxons ran after, just exactly as William had planned, leaving Harold alone on the hilltop, on his horse with his hawk in his hand. When the conqueror saw what had happened, a bow and an arrow he drew, he went up to Harold and shot him. He were offside, but what could they do? Now the Normans turned round in a fury, and gave back parry and thrust, till the fight were all over but shouting, and you couldn't see the Saxons for dust. Now after the battle were over, they found Harold so stately and grand, sitting there with an eye full of horror, on his horse with his hawk in his hand. On his horse with his hawk in his hand. Poor Harold.